There's no such thing as a perfect camera, but this one comes pretty close. I got a call from Sony. There is a new camera and we want to do a movie with it. We want to do a short movie with it and, and experience it and see how it goes. I got really excited because for me, getting a new camera to the market and introducing something, especially from Sony, it have to have a new edge. And I was just wondering all the time, what is the new edge that I'm going to experience? This is a really exciting camera. Sony's Venice is now well established as one of the very best filmmaking cameras that exist today. And it's being used for some really high profile, high level productions. And we all know that the image quality is absolutely stellar. So we now have a camera that has virtually the same image quality, but in a smaller body, it's lower cost. And on top of that, we've got things like IBIS in body stabilization and that variable ND filter, so this is the first ever time we've seen a proper cinema camera with IBIS. So all your classic cinema glass and everything else, you can put it on this camera and you can shoot stabilized in a camera with a 16-bit codec, Sony's ExoCN codec, which is absolutely stunning to work with, an amazing sensor that has tremendous dynamic range, 8K resolution, and just like Venice, it holds onto colors in the deepest of shadows and also in the highest of highlights. And it has this linearity to the image that makes grading it really, really easy. It's a new brush and I, I want to say how well I paint with it will be nice on high contrast, low key, high key, uh, low contrast mood. So this camera, have something that it's not only for one style, you know? I mean, we've been shooting directly into the light. We've been filling the room with haze. We've been doing all of those things that a lot of cameras can really struggle with. And of course, this camera's just brushed it off and it's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. And it's just carried on. My only reference for the universe I was supposed to create to build this story upon using two keywords, success and being independently skilled. Taking the idea of being independently skilled and then eventually being part of a, of a greater, a bigger whole, I, I thought, well, let's use our industry. The art of cinema, uh, it's not a solo thing. It have a lot of people, a lot of departments. Each department is playing its role. And at the end, we must all be on the same harmony to just put this on tape. Taking the crew and making them the cost. So the actual crew that made this film we're talking about today happen was also the cost. They starred in their own film. And it doesn't look fake. It's not an actor. It's the real thing. And over the course of this shoot, I've seen Farmy get better and better at squeezing more and more out of this camera. And I think he was actually quite surprised with the autofocus and things like that because he's not really worked with a cinema camera that does autofocus before. Life, the, the tempo of life is faster. So what this camera did, especially with the autofocus thing, that's the game changer. Now, you, you, you need people or you don't. It's up to you. It's something that you can call it. And in the handheld, it's amazing and in steadiness it's amazing. I discovered it on a gimbal, I discovered it on tracks, so it fits in everything. It's very user friendly, so that's why I loved it. Working with Mustafa Fami was amazing. He is a very independently skilled individual, being in this industry for many years, working on massive projects. His creativity, his skill, his excellence is clearly seen in every project that he takes on. And the, and the final product he delivers. Put us in with a group of lovely filmmakers, so creative, with Adi. She's a very great storyteller, have a lot of emotions and feelings, and I was very lucky to work with her. We had great chemistry. There was a lot of good vibes, wonderful energy. We could share ideas. We were on the same page, basically, 90% of the time. One of the things with this camera is 
the lens flexibility because it's a PL camera and E-mount camera you can put so many different lenses and we had all sorts of different lenses that we used so we had some really nice Cook E-mount lenses and they were really special lovely lovely pictures but then for the street scenes at night we went down to the Sony E-mount and the G Master lenses with autofocus different style of shooting different requirements autofocus was better for that part of the shoot than manual focus for the running shots we had a super 35mm classic cinema zoom lens. So this camera has that flexibility to put any lens that you want on it. That this camera is a catalyst that will make people go faster in their jobs because it's easier. So it bridges that gap between the smaller cameras where people shoot really quickly, easily, very portable, and a full cinema camera where quality is everything. And it sits right in the middle giving you the best of both worlds. This is the turning point. You have everything easily, fast, and you can do it alone or with little assistance if you want, but it's there. And now we have the toy that can do everything. So it just shows what you got. And so at the end of the day, this camera and this campaign, being independently skilled, trying again and again and again, being consistent, being disciplined, being gritty, it's about inventing yourself. And that's our payoff line. Invent yourself. Sonny.